What's up guys, Chris here, back again with another video on the channel. Today's video, I want to talk about UCL marquee matchups uh, and what to expect with the market. I also want to talk about some of the things that we saw on Monday with the market and kind of like what that means for the next few days uh, on Thursday and Friday, etc. It's going to be another Black Friday market type video. But before we get into the video today, if you guys can drop a like on the video, let's hit 100 likes. That would be awesome. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Turn the notification bell on while you're there. Uh, get involved with us over on Discord. Free guides, free trading tips in the description. And then also on the Twitch channel. We are there every single day. And I might even go live right after I make this video. So let's get into it. Uh, today we actually got um, a CoinSync SPC. And this is something that I, I kind of thought was going to be you know happening. Um, they gave us a current team of the week. Uh, upgrade now people did a lot of these um you could see that because things didn't really rise that much today on the market uh which was anticipated this definitely negated it um and i also think that a lot of people it shows that they're just scared to buy right now um one i think because of the base icon that is you know obviously lurking but also because black friday is coming so you know every year we did you know last year we did see like a, a gradual rise going into friday but today on Tuesday is going to be a very interesting day uh, with a lot of different aspects of the market. Icons continue to die every day. Uh, Roads to the finals are flying. Gold cards are kind of stagnant, if not a little bit lower. Uh, maybe some are like a little bit higher. Um, you know, fodder obviously is going up and down depending on leaks and depending on, you know, what time of the day you're talking about. Team of Week cards are kind of fluctuating. They're not really up that much. Uh, and yeah, like the market kind of right now is is crazy, but I think there's still a lot of people that are waiting to buy and we'll talk a little bit about Thursday as well in this video because in my opinion, the market's going to do very well on Thursday. Um, and the reason for that is because people just like kind of the road to the final teams, uh, people are going to save packs for this Friday, knowing that the best of team of the week is going to be coming back into packs you will see a lot of people holding their trade old packs. So you're not going to have as much supply on the market this Thursday, which means that golds and you know players like that are not going to really get supplied as much. So I'm expecting guys like Werner this week to probably go up a little bit uh, with you know rewards. Now, what I will say on this, um, I would most likely get out by 6 p.m. on Thursday um, just to be very safe because... I think there's two dates that if EA were to drop an SBC for the icon, it would be Thursday or it would be Saturday. I'll explain my reasoning why. So because we didn't get it out today, they're not going to drop it on Tuesday. They're not going to drop it on Wednesday, most likely, because that's just not those days that they bring on an SBC of that value that you know pretty much destroys the market. Thursday would be that day for me where they would drop it because they could negate the market rise that actually does happen on Thursdays. People buying their teams for division rivals, and then they can just crash the market at, at 6 p.m. on Thursday. You have all these people selling off on Thursday, getting rid of all their coins, sinking their coins to the SBC, getting ready for Black Friday. Now, another thing they can do is release it on Saturday, which would negate the rise that we would see from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It would be probably a panic window on saturday sunday and monday and then you'd probably see a market that goes up again after that um that is the two dates that i could see them doing it just to kind of negate any sort of rise on thursday or on saturday so it'll be interesting to see what they decide to do if they even drop it at all um we did from that code that they brought out for those team uh team of the league up upgrades we got the 81 plus double so the fact that they were all in the same code together is making people believe that the icon could be coming um, this week as well. We'll see what happens if they decide to do that. But we did see some sell-off today um, on cards. And it just seems like a lot of people are just kind of afraid to buy right now. Um, Road to the finals are like in the like at the moon right now. If we show you guys uh, some of these Road to the finals, specifically Team 2, are just absolutely crazy in price. This guy was 180k on Thursday. He's up like 60,000 coins right now. You see right here, like 188 on Thursday, which he, you can get him at 180. He's now up at like 240, which is actually insane. 
Um, another huge rise is this card. He was like 215. He's now 260 already. Um, this guy was like 285. He's now 355. This guy was like 140. He's 180 now. These guys have pretty much flown out of packs. Um, and some of the market movements you might see today with UCL marquee matchups coming out and obviously the Champions League going, uh, games going on, whatever teams are playing today, um, you will see fluctuations with these routes of the finals. So they're going to go up if a player scores um, from that team. So for example, I don't know if, if Leipzig and, and PSG are playing today. If they are playing today, then say for example, PSG get out to a one goal lead. Maybe people buy into Draxler a little bit. Uh, because again, I think right now, as as long as United don't choke against Istanbul, uh, they're gonna go through. So it's pretty much one of PSG or Leipzig that's gonna go through to the next round, and people will buy according to you know if somebody scores or not. I remember we saw a crazy trend with Vos last year with Valencia, and I know it was I think it was like a game like a deciding game in the group, but you're gonna see some of these group stage games like really take a turn and. You know, for the group itself, you know, I know that Atalanta is playing Liverpool this week. That's a huge game for Quincy Promise and Midgelin because if Quincy wins that game, right, and say Liverpool wins their game, then Atalanta is in third and Ajax are in second. And that's going to mean that Quincy Promise is going to probably rise because of that. People are going to be more willing to buy into that card. So I would expect something like that to happen. Where you see some of these roads of the finals definitely rising um, based on, you know, just kind of the results of the games or even goals being scored. Like, you'll see, like, in-game fluctuations. So, like, during the game, if you want to get a little risky or something like that, you could definitely, um, you could probably just, like, gamble a little bit, right? So, like, 250 there. I'll take, the reason why I bought it at 250 is because Fuppin kind of messed up his price. I'm going to see if I get, like, a 275, 280 on that card. Um, we'll see what happens, obviously. But, again, these guys are super high in price. You will see fluctuations during the game. If somebody scores, they may drop or rise because of that. And then, you know, if you want to gamble, right, and say they go down 1-0, but all of a sudden, IX pull it back to 2-3-1, people will then, if they panic sold promise, they'll go buy and buy back up. So, it'll be, like, crazy trends with the games over the next two days. Uh, in terms of, like, the lower tier market, if we're looking at guys like Lucas Mora, or any of the guys that you bought on Sunday. Now we didn't see we did see actually a decent rise on cards. Um like for example, Ake today. Uh we did see a rise like that. Now we were supposed to see more of a rise. We didn't actually get that. Um and we didn't really get any supply today, but it was because of that team leaf pack that we didn't see as big of a rise. So like 9.7 there goes all the way to 12.1. Uh and now it's down like 11. But I would suggest getting out of any of those kind of cards that you were trying to tech out. The own flip uh, because of UCL marquee matchups bringing supply onto the market. I would also expect today with the... That was last year's Team of the Week. Uh, if we look at Team of the Week cards, right? This could be a good opportunity for you guys to get in last minute on certain cards. Like an Insigne. Maybe like a Teixeira uh, hero card. Like a Mares. Um, summer as well is at a great price right now anyway, but if you can get lower than that, that's fine by me. Um, even a guy like Vidal, like 30, 31k probably is, is not bad for an 85, you know, Serie A center mid. Um, I would expect that market to probably pick up after, you know, the marquee matchups do come out on Tuesday. Um, your buy window is definitely going to be that first 30 minutes to an hour of marquee matchups. And like I said, I don't expect the middle, the base icon to come out tomorrow. They're not going to release marquee matchups plus the base icon. The base icon will be something they release only then. Like, that's the only thing they're going to release for the content that they have because it's such a big um, slot with content. So, you can look at some of the team of the weeks. I would stay away from the guys like Conte and Mane um, because they're pretty much guaranteed to get into the best of. In terms of Goretzka and Sydney Mars, it's kind of up in the air right now whether or not EA put them in. But what I will say is they could rise still on Thursday. Uh, and then if they don't get into the best sub team league on Friday, they're going to absolutely fly. And the next video is going to be talking about what happens to those informs uh, if they do get in and if they don't. So we'll go through the graphs. We'll show you guys what's going on with that. Um, another thing to look out for tomorrow. I mean, I just say probably looking at any big drop offs on popular players. Like if you see big drop offs on Neymar, on Rashford, 
Ver like i would expect the verner market like the mid-tier meta market to probably rebound um if it did drop because what i'm expecting is the market to go up on thursday uh and definitely getting up by 6 p.m would be it you know advised but i think the gold meta markets could do very well on thursday same with maybe some special cards like rule breakers like informs from past team of the weeks i expect the market to go up on thursday especially when people are afraid to invest the market does have a nice rise on thursday and just to be safe, if you want to risk it past Thursday, you definitely could with the base icon lurking. If it doesn't come out on Thursday, then the market should keep going up and up and up uh, until like late night, which is when you'll start to see that sell off again uh, going into Black Friday with the panic we're going to see. So I would get involved. I would say probably Ronaldo's going to have a straight rise from here on out. I mean, he's 1.5 million. So if you haven't bought him at this point, you know, you missed the time on the buy him, to be honest with you. We recommended you so many times to buy him. So if you haven't bought him yet, like, you're just going to have to bite the bullet and probably buy him right now or wait a few weeks. Uh, Neymar, again, 1 million under probably is, like, solid for me. 250 for Varane, I think, is super good. Um, You can get involved with some of, like, your Black Friday investments or if you want to buy teams, you still could buy. This is different this year than other years where we saw kind of, like, a rise after after sunday we're not really seeing as much of a rise so like guys like rashford guys like veron right specifically guys like conte and rashford and joe gomez guys that are going to be needed or needed for teams but their team of the week will be the ones that are in packs and not the gold cards so these guys will be out of packs they will be avoiding all of that supply during the first hour of lightning rounds which means that those guys are not going to get any supply. So they're going to have just a straight rise, most likely. Depending on if EA does the best of again, that's what we're assuming based on previous years. It's just really easy for them uh, to do. I would say in terms of like Team of the Week, so like Ali Watkins just got here posted at 64,000. That's clearly a uh, fucking mess up. I'm just going to trade, you know, fluctuation trade. Like I said, I don't think it's going to come out today. Um, the, you know, the SBC, I really don't think so um so you guys are free to trade free to fluctuation trade um and again you know buying right now people looks like they're scared to buy they're waiting to buy which means that this is going to be an opportunity for you guys to buy stuff before thursday before it starts to rise um and obviously depending on the content we get on thursday you could see a drop again but i think you'll still be okay for friday night because there's gonna be so many coins coming onto the market that you know people do have to buy and i think icons are gonna absolutely fly they're gonna go to the moon on friday night in my opinion because uh people from for like three weeks now uh if you take a look at the icon index okay if we look at this i mean it's it's getting really low like some cards are dropping out of the sky today you know guys i'm nor like i can't even trade with some of these icons anymore because i don't even know their prices because they've dropped so much but if you look at like the daily graph, I mean, these guys were like 117. They're down almost 20 points. History shows you, if you look at a guy like Blanc last year, we can do this really quickly just to show you. But any meta icon, any card that people really want to use, okay? If we take a look at the 85 Blanc here, right? And we see his rise. So let's go three months, right? They peaked on the, fr the Thursday after Black Friday, okay? And then we obviously had Team of the Group Stage, which just killed the market with Team of the Year. Now, I'm going to need the following week after. But Icon should have a really big lift. So if you need to buy an Icon, I think you want to get in um, before Friday. Um, and maybe if you're going to wait till Friday, you wait for the panic in the morning because we will get some uh, before 6 p.m. But hopefully this video kind of helped you guys out a little bit. We're going to have a lot more content obviously coming onto the channel. Another video coming out later probably. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video today. I appreciate it. Come subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll talk to you guys in the video soon. Peace out.